Quilters, welcome to AccuQuilt Live. I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilt's cutting expert. Thanks for joining us on a Wednesday. Emily's in the house, how are you, dear? I'm good, I've been a quilting machine this weekend. I hear that, you said that. Okay, you have a little show and tell, you wanna show it to us? Yes, I'm so, so, so excited. Okay, so this was the um, Crazy Quilt Stained Glass Table Topper, and it uses the six inch finished Crazy Quilt die. And this is going to my uncle who has a new house that they are building. And my aunt sent me the photos of what their kitchen looked like before. And those are the colors I went off of. So Excellent. I was very happy not to have to cut all of those shapes out on my very own. That crazy quilt yes. made it so and easy. What's important to remember about the crazy quilt die? All the fabric faces oh, up. up, always face up it's a directional die. It surely is. All right, where is everybody watching from today? Kay is watching from Florida and Carrie's from Indiana. Mm -hmm. I wonder, it is not so hot today. Yesterday and the day before was just miserable in Nebraska, so it's better. All right, today's show is all about the Go Grandmother's Fan Die. To create what is known as a serpentine block, which is completely different than the traditional block and the way that you lay it together. And I have a whole bunch of blocks cut out that we're gonna work with. It's kind of fun. So here is my photo of the day. Um, okay, I was in um, New Mexico for an event and I was driving to Las Cruces and I stopped at a rest area and that was literally the sign as you pulled into the rest stop. And in my quilting head, I thought, I'm not getting out of this car. Mm -hmm. But I did. I was very much aware because snakes send me over the edge. Just even like little garter snake, anything snaky. So, um, so the question of the day is, what creepy crawly things are you afraid of? So here in the Dream Studio, um, somebody was not so excited about spiders. Um, Producer Joe, he like kills all of those good things like spiders and snakes and stuff. Emily, do you have a... Oh my gosh, spiders. It's the same Really? Thing. Yeah, they've just got too many legs for me to be trusted, you know. It's too much stuff it's happening. Too, too much going on, yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, before the show, I put in my contact lenses and I have a little bit of um, contact cleaner on my eyeball, so it's just taking me a minute to focus. We're fair with me. I know, it's all excited. Okay, quilters, did you watch yesterday's relaunch party? The Go Grandmother's Fan Dye bundles are available for a limited time, including the Go Grandmother's Fan Dye with a bundle, with a mat bundle. Mm -hmm. Now this is a great opportunity to get great deals before that July 1st price increase. Also, we have limited quantities of that grandmother's fan. So just keep that in mind if you're thinking, oh, I really, I'm not really sure. We have really limited quantities that will probably sell out today. Plus, you will get free shipping on orders over $100. So if you live in the contiguous US, all of the bundles that you find on the website will ship free, which is kind of great. Also, because it's Wednesday and we love you, we're gonna give you double reward points when you place your orders today, and you can use these points towards future AccuQuilt purchases. Perfect. It's a great day at AccuQuilt. Today I'm giving away one of our Go Grandmother Fan dies. Grandmother's Fan, there we go. Be sure and register for future events on the AccuQuilt event page for your chance to win. By registering, you receive event emails, and that way you will uh, never miss an exciting tutorial. And the amazing Emily is gonna announce the winner of our registered viewer at the end of our show. Oh, it's gonna be fun, okay? Can't wait. All right, so before we get started, let's, before we look at the die, let's hear about people's creepy crawly things. Oh my gosh, so many creepy crawlies. See? So, Sue says spiders and earwigs. Ooh. Yeah. That makes me kind of have shivers. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, Susie is also not a fan of spiders. Okay. Mary's totally with you on snakes. 
I can kill spiders all day long. I, see, you're, yeah. I, I need you over at my house. Maybe we need to, you know, have a deal there because I don't mind snakes, but Gail also minds snakes and lizards. Oh, I don't mind lizards. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah. depends on the okay. lizard. Okay, okay. I don't okay. usually have them. All right, so let's talk <laughs> about this dive. I'm excited about it. All right, so grandmother's fan is traditionally um, a block that would be cut with paper templates. Mm. And, but AccuQuilt brings cutting these shapes to a whole new level. So on this die, there are, um, this is AccuQuilt's newest block and board, or a bob die. And it allows you to cut all the pieces for one block in just one pass through the cutter. So here is my little block that we're gonna cut today. So cute. It's so pretty. And it, you can cut all of the pieces for this one block. In fact, you can cut all the pieces for three blocks. And it's 90% 90 90 faster than traditional cutting methods. And every single time it's going to be accurate, which I think for me is the big thing, is that if I'm gonna spend all the time cutting the pieces, I want them to be accurate. That's so okay? true. All right, so here is the die, and we're gonna cut with it in just a second. But Emily, there's a big question that quilters always ask. And that is, what is the difference between grandmother's fan and Dresden plate? Yeah, that's a great okay. question. So here is my Dresden plate block. Ooh, I gotta remember. I have so many grandmother fans. <laughs> Grandmother's fan blocks for days. Well, just okay. to show how many fun colorways there oh, are. Oh my goodness, right? Okay. Here, we'll do, well, we'll do it with this one. Okay. Grandmother's fan is typically just, sorry, Justin, um, one section of the fan, mm. okay? Dresden plate is meant to be in a circle. And this die cuts all of the shapes that you need to make both the points and the curved edges. And then once you piece this together, it's meant to be appliqued to a bigger block. Right, okay. 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 And then at AccuQuilt, because we're brilliant, <laughs> there is an embroidery file for this center circle. So if you have an applique machine, or an embroidery machine, you can totally take advantage of the three different stitches for this circle. Which okay. Is so fun. So this is the difference between them. And yes, there is a die for Dresden plate. So you could totally make corners of Dresden plate, but it's meant to be a whole circle. Mm. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah, it's okay. nice to go through the difference because they do, I can see why folks would say, you know, maybe could I make the, the grandmother's family right. with the Dresden plate and vice right. versa, but it's right. really better to they just- They are really different and it's nice yeah. to see them side by side. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Now we're going to lay out some fabric because we can. <laughs> I'm really excited about this project today. Um, so Taylor's Katie, my son Taylor, his love is Katie and she loves things that are like greens and golds. And so I thought for Christmas, because she's not watching today, I thought for Christmas, this would be a really fun die to make that serpentine block and use some really cool grunge. Because I'm all about Fabulous. the crunch. Yes. Okay, so let's start here. So it has three shapes. This is the spokes for the fan. Here is that center and the center arc and then the outer arc. So when we have our block, this is C and A, they're typically the same color, and this is B. Now, really important to recognize that we have screen printed for that easy placement, and I know there's curves, but we have notches. So I'm gonna show you how fast it is to cut all of the pieces that you need for your blocks in just one pass through the cutter. So think about this quilters, think about if you had to cut this piece, so you would have a paper template and then you would have to cut out all of those notches. One, how long it would take you to do it, but two, how inaccurate it would be, okay? Now, this is important to know as well. 
there's a fat end to a skinny end. A fat end to a skinny end. And a, skin, a fat end to a skinny end. Shape B in the center is turned so you can just get all of your shapes on. Oh, sure, maximize the use right. of the fabric. Right, right. That's great. Okay, quilters ask all the time, what is grunge? This is sacred grunge. <laughs> Our good friends from Moda make it. And I love it. Basically, it is fabric that has been painted. And I like grunge because it gives that look of wear and tear. You know, back in the day when I was a kid and I wore blue jeans, you know, there were faded sections of my blue jeans. And, and that's kind of the illusion that grunge gives is that faded look. And for my block, because I didn't want it just to be all green, but I wanted it to be green, <laughs> if that makes sense. So here is a solid, and then these are called, oh, it has a funny name, I can't remember. Something about spots, seeing spots or something. Cute. So every other one is the spots, and then every other one is the solid. So think about what you want to do. If you're going to make a serpentine block or if you're going to make a block that just has two colors, um, you could totally make it scrappy, whatever you want to do. But for me, it was important to do that. And then look at this. Some of my blocks start with the solid. So when we go to put them together, oh. it continues the pattern, but then some of my blocks are the, um, start with the spots. So you wanna make sure that when you're putting your blocks together, you pay attention if you're doing this. Now, listen to me carefully, quilters. There is no pattern for this. None, zero, nada. And I'm gonna show you some different ways to lay out your blocks. This is just to kind of give you some inspiration. If you follow my AccuQuilt, um, Facebook page, it's AccuQuilt Educator Pam Heller. As I'm sewing the blocks together, I'll post it on my Facebook page so you can see the progress, mm -hmm. okay? But there is no pattern other than how to cut and sew a block, okay? Which is what we're gonna do right now. Yeah. All right, Emily, while I'm, oh, here, let's talk about fabric and then it's gonna take, I don't know, 15 seconds to cut it off. <laughs> All right. Perfect. So what I'm gonna do is, I, since I'm gonna sew some of my pieces together, but I'm not gonna sew all the pieces together, I'm just gonna cut, I'm just gonna lay my fabric facing up. I'm gonna create two piles of fabric, okay? okay. What I've done is I've measured from here to here, the widest point, added a quarter of an inch on either side and rough cut width of fabric strips. And in my quilting head, I want to think it's like seven and a half inches. While you're right? doing that, Pam, I have a yes. perfect question from yes. Anne. Anne asks, Pam, can I use a jelly roll for the fan pieces? I bought a lovely spring jelly roll that looks vintage. And she, I think she has it in mind oh, for this particular sure. block. Let's measure. We have rulers on our website. Hey. One. Okay, let's measure the widest point. <laughs> Okay, so the widest point of the fan is three inches. So no, okay? okay? Uh, because the jelly roll cuts at two and a half inches. That's right. Dang, but that would have been a great idea. Absolutely, yeah, Pam. Right? Ann, yeah, that was a great, great question, Ann. Okay, now listen, we didn't say this yesterday, but today we're gonna fan fold. <laughs> I need the, I need the uh, what do you call it, rim, the but um, Yeah, Brock's in charge of all of the noises. Yeah. There we Thanks, go. Thanks, Brock. There we go. Now, I'm just going back and forth. I can always cut six layers. Here's my salvage edge. So this is the lengthwise grain, which is exactly how I want to cut it, mm -hmm. okay? Now, Emily, are we worried about this little fabric that's hanging out here? Well, no. Why not? Because it's not gonna cut as long as there's not a cutting mat on top of it. Right, it is only gonna cut where there is fabric and a mat. Mm -hmm. Now for this section here, this is this beautiful gold. Isn't this so pretty? It is so fun and unique. Okay, and I did the same thing. I kind of measured to see how big the arc was. 
Okay. And then I just cut a width of fabric strip, okay? And none of these shapes are directional shapes, so I can fan fold both times, okay? Um, but I'm just gonna sew two blocks today, so I'm just gonna cut two. Now, when I'm done showing you, the, when I'm done cutting this section, I'm gonna show you this trick I learned about um, how to lay your fabric because grunge is beautiful and I just wanna be able to cut as much of it as I can. And again, look right here. I'm not worried about it, okay? That's right. All right, so we're gonna use a six by 24 cutting mat. We're gonna move all of my stuff out of the way. Hey, Emily, we're gonna use our Go Big today because we can, but there's yes. a special on our Go Big today. Yes, okay, the Go Big is $70 off today, which is perfect timing because we've got that price going up on July 1st. So right, right now, if you're looking to upgrade to that Go Big. No. If you have a Go fabric cutter, which is fabulous, it is too hot to turn a handle. Yeah. Let's get you a Go Big, $70 off today. Absolutely. All right, so now this fabric that I have here, I'm just going to tuck it right next to my die. I'm not going to put it on top and run it through because this already has six layers and it will just tear my fabric, which would make me really, truly cry. Right, right. All right, so as I'm running this through, Emily, tell us what people's creepy crawly things are they afraid of? More creepy crawlies. We have, ooh, Julie's afraid of cockroaches. Oh, one, hands down. One flew at her as a child and she's still scared. Yeah, I, I, I feel you on that one, Julie. That would be no fun if they're attacking you. Um, Cheryl says scorpions. Oh my gosh, I hope you don't have scorpions okay, in you your life. you people live in, in places that have big bugs. Seriously. Okay. Not okay, I'm gonna around. give it some love and slide this mat. Don't left. Keep telling us what people are scared of, because holy smokes. Tarantulas. Ugh. You know, where Ray, are these? Where Ray, is my Ray. Yeah. When he was in college, he had a roommate that had a tarantula, and I was scared to death of tarantulas for a long time. But then I wasn't. See, I, okay. isn't that wonderful? I've heard of folks that yeah, they they have pet tarantulas, and yeah. they just they just love them to pieces, and I'm. Yeah. You know, more it had a funny them. name I wish I could have remembered. <laughs> okay. And while you're actually doing that, Pam, we have a perfect question from Celeste. Hi, Celeste. When using directional fabric, would you cut one set in one direction, another set in the opposite direction to get enough going the same direction because the center B piece will be going a different direction than the two outside B pieces? No. Uh -huh. That's a great question. At the end of today's show... I'm gonna cut some directional fabric and you just wanna cut it on one section. Okay. Because if you turn it the other way, then the outer two pieces are gonna be going the wrong direction. That's right. Make a test block. That's what I have to say to you. Okay, hang on here before we talk about the next live event. Okay, so here are my beautiful arcs. Okay, and then here is my Beautiful center, okay. I do love this fabric, That's okay. Katie Sue is gonna love it. Yeah, it looks like gold coins. Okay, now look what I did. <gasps> I learned this trick. Damn. Well, I wanted to s get the best use out of my grunge. So here's what it did, okay. Mm -hmm. I just took that whole big thing and I turned it this way so that it's covering the section and then it's gonna cut it out here. And then I just have little pieces of grunge left which I am totally going to use for other things. Okay, is there a mind blown sound, Brock? Because I think I need one of those. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. well, it took me a hot minute to do it. That's why I didn't fan fold it. Yeah, yeah. The right, because now it's gonna cut this section and this. Oh, it makes perfect, it just, yeah, it fits perfectly like that. You know what, that. let's cut it. Because, okay, how long would it take you to cut these by hand? A million years. Seriously. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna cut it by hand and show everybody. And I am gonna trim these little pieces off, because what I don't want it to do is, is pull through, mm -hmm. right? Even for me, that's too small of a piece of grunge. <laughs> okay, <laughs> hold on here. All right, here we go. 
Oh. I am so excited about this block. I just think this die is fabulous. Me too, and I, I really love the color choice that you that you went with today. I think this is a fun project. I can't wait to see how right. it turns out. Right. Now, I, I only did two layers. You could totally do six layers yeah. and then flip the whole thing. Okay. Sure, why not? I know, I'm loving it. Yeah, I love the Go Big. Ever since I used it at that quilt retreat, Pam, like I've <laughs> did I'm it kind totally of a change convert. your life? I, it really did. It, did. it was so much fun to use. I could, you know, let it go through the cutter and go about my business doing other stuff. See, look. Whoa. Right? And then these little sections are perfect because they're good chunks mm -hmm. that I can use for other projects. Perfect. I know. I know. Sometimes in life we know some stuff. All right. Hey, join me and Erica on Tuesday, June 28th at 12 noon Central Time for a patriotic trunk show um, called Seams to Shiny and Seams. Is that what it's called? Yep. Yes. And register in the link below for the chance to win prizes. We're going to have a couple of special guests, which will be super fun. Quilters, do you live in the Omaha Lincoln area? If you, I will be demonstrating our AccuCool product at the Omaha Quilt Show on Friday, June 24th, which is the day after tomorrow, from 11 to 12 noon. Stop by Celtic Quilter booth and say hello. And I think the lovely Emily is going to join me for oh, a minute. Oh, yeah. Right? I'm, I'm totally going to crash. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we haven't told the Celtic quilter that, but she's totally crashing the party. Oh, yeah. And I think we might do like a little live or yeah, something might fun. Say hey, on yeah. maybe on TikTok. So yeah, keep your eyes yeah. out on our social media. Look, look for Emily. She is all about that. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. So now here we go. All right, hold on. Okay. Now I'm just gonna leave my pieces right here in the die. I had to read ahead here. It's like a good novel on my little script here. And I think folks love your tip of laying the piece, like keeping the pieces on the die so you can see what exactly you've yes. got in front of you. Oh, it's a secret. But yesterday I was sewing blocks from a secret die that's gonna be, part we are having so much fun this summer. We have so many fun events that are scheduled and continue with our dotted tries. Um, anyway, I was sewing those blocks mm -hmm. and it was important to keep the pieces on the um, die so that I could see. Okay, now we're gonna just do a little creativity here. We don't often get the chance to do this because literally it's gonna take me like three minutes to sew these blocks together. Okay, but what I wanna show you is that remember grandmother fan blocks are typically just one block. Okay, so can we, here, can we, Justin, are we good? Can I come back here? Yeah. Okay, this was from yesterday's show. This is Amanda Harwood of Larkspur Quilts, and she is brilliant, okay? She took eight grandmother's fan blocks to create a perfect heart, and then she used our nine and a half, nine inch finish squares mm -hmm. and setting triangles to make this project. And I love everything about this. I sent her a, a, she was on Instagram last night and I sent her a little message and said, okay, Amanda, I'm totally in love with this. Oh wait, here, can we show the background? Look, Ugh. isn't that so cute? Really, really cute. So I told her, I said, Amanda, I'm totally in love with this. I, because I'm a big modern quilter, think I'm gonna make this with charcoal, a lighter gray, and a white, and then red and pink. Pretty. Won't that be pretty? What oh. colors would you do it in, Emily? Oh gosh, you know, I'm my favorite color is purple. Yes, so, so I would you could make the heart purple. Maybe like a lavender, and then yes. like, I don't know, I, I like a soft, I don't know, maybe like a soft yellow or white. Oh, that would know. be pretty. I like the idea of like the gray scale too in the background. I think that's a really nice, nice you know, yeah. that's my generation though. We like gray. <laughs> and this, this is a free pattern at AccuQuilt.com. Yeah. And then let's talk about the one behind Emily. Yes. This one, Emily, do you know what the other die is that's in there? This one is, oh, is it the orange peel? No, it looks like it though. This is glorified nine patch. Oh, that's And that's right. one of the bundles that's available on our website. And we turn that block on point 
And then in the center, we took and took that grandmother's fan and made a big circle. Mm -hmm. But look at the edges, they're like edges of grandmother's fan. And they're the half of the um, glorified nine patch. Oh, ball. like here on the yes. side where you can kind of- look at of how pretty that is. See that on there, that's beautiful. And that's by our good friend, um, Mary Ann Fontana of Fontana Originals. She's amazing. Okay, so here's what I was thinking and then I'll tell you what Joe is thinking because we had a big discussion about this this morning. <laughs> All right, so I like the concept of taking the blocks to create solid arcs, okay? And I have a whole bunch of pieces done Okay, all right, and then I thought it would look cool to Ooh. go like this and then to start, and then you could continue, oh. right? You could do two more halves, okay? Yeah, that's So great. see, that's kind of cool. Very cool. Okay, Joe thought, and I thought this was cool. Oh, Joe, I hope I can recreate it, sweetie. Okay. He doesn't like the, the break between the blocks. Ooh, he yeah. He wants it to be solid. So, oh, see, look. Okay, I think I'm doing this right. Oh, wow. Right? Yeah. So look how cool this is. Almost and like again, quilters, there are no patterns for this. It's just us in the dream studio, <laughs> okay? And then... Oh yeah, that's cool. And you can maybe do like some sashing or something like that in between we if you thought, needed to... We oh. thought we could use like a six inch square. Am I doing it right, Joe? There, is that right? Yeah. Okay. And then we could move down here. Okay. Neat. Joe's like, no, that's not right. But it's okay. So play around with your blocks mm -hmm. because, oh, here, let's oh, do this. Wow. And I know. Like a rectangle or a strip. Yes. There. Okay. There's a I don't think that. this is what we were talking about this morning, but it's totally working. Okay. Oh, here, I need the other one. That's okay. This will work. Okay. So in this one, we did some, we did some math on a Wednesday morning and we would just cut we think it's three and a half by six and a half inch, or th well, it has to be nine, right? Mm -hmm. Three and a half by nine inches um, to create those rectangles between them. And we thought that was a better idea than trying to kind of make it choppy, but look at how cool that looks. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then, because the internet is an amazing place, um, you can Google grandmother's fan serpentine blocks and here's one that I found. So here we go, let's create it. I do love that we have fans here. That first one almost reminded me of like, if you did it in yellow, the yellow brick road from- Oh Wizard of yeah, Oz. very That's much so, <laughs> very much so. Okay, after the show today, we'll take some pictures of um, some other ones and I'll post it on my oh, um, yeah. page. Okay, so here's kind of this. Okay. And now their blocks here were solid. Their centers mm -hmm. right here, okay. And then, ooh, we gotta have two more here. Come here and come here. And now you have a big square in the center. This is what I love about being able to just rotate a block and right. see how much the possibilities just change completely. Oh yeah. So for me, I haven't really figured out the path that I want to choose yet or how I want to put them together. But I do know that I love the fact that I only use two colors, there's dots and solids, and we'll figure it out. So won't it be fun when it's all said and done? And I have to say this is like, one of the projects that is for Christmas, and I am the most far on it. <laughs> I don't know how, well, in a couple of weeks, well, during Christmas in July, right, we'll ask about that. Okay, so here's some empty, or some extra little fan shapes that I sewed. So let's sew some together and show you how to do it. And while I am sewing pieces, 
Um, Emily, tell us what people are scared of. Creepy yes. crawly things. All of the creepy crawly things. This is so fun. Okay. Ooh, Alyssa says snakes and a praying mantis. I love praying mantis. I do too. They're often at, in the summertime when it is so hot here. Mm -hmm. They are often um, outside on the brick at the gym in the morning when I'm in the outdoor pool. Oh yeah, because they like to they like that absorb heat. the sun, huh? Yes, you need six spokes, okay? <laughs> just, oh, wow. just keep talking, Emily, I'm putting out six spokes. Let's see, spiders and snakes, oh my. Yeah. Oh my gosh, oh, Jenny says she's seen too many black widows in her life. <laughs> and oh. oh, and hornets. Oh, that's fair, oh. <laughs> so we had, okay, I'm going to sew these together and then we're going to press them. Um, and I'm going to tell you a funny story because we had Oakley over the weekend and we had a wasp. Well, I was not home and there was a wasp in the house <laughs> and boy, she was super scared of it. And Ray said, it's okay. So they got out the little spray and they sprayed it because it was in the, in the window, mm -hmm. you know, the back window. Oh, sure. But she was not having any of it. And it landed in one of the house plans. Oh, geez. And before Ray could do anything, she was already spraying it. And now that house plant is dead. Oh, oh <laughs> I mean, the wasp is dead, but so is the house plant. Okay, so I'm mixing um, dots and, dots and uh, solids. Okay, quilters, if you had to cut these pieces with a template, a paper template, you would still be cutting in the time that it's gonna take me to finish my block. Yeah. I mean, holy smokes. Bananas. This is one of those box quilters you wanna make sure you have a good quarter inch seam, a true quarter inch seam. Emily, you learned about that last week. Yeah, I, I did. I, I, I learned that I hadn't been sewing a quarter inch seam since, I don't know, October of since, 2021, yeah. something like that. For a, so, for a little bit. You know, just for a little bit. But now, I'm a, I, I was telling you about this, you know, the other day, like how now that I am sewing that true quarter inch, it's like the points are perfectly aligned up and all it the corners It really does are, make a huge difference. It really, really does. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, right. absolutely. And how fast <laughs> those, those together. That was so fast. Okay, and now I'm gonna just lay them out. This is so funny. We have other people that are like going to war, like, okay, I don't know about you folks, but I go to war with the wasps every year at my you house. You go to war? I do because they, they, I'm in an apartment complex, so you know it's not like there's just one nest around. They, they decide to try and take over the entire complex once a year. Oh dear! And I say, you know, no wasps. I will hold my corner of my complex. I will send Oakley over. <laughs> I would, I would love that. I could, she I could, could use a fellow she soldier help with the wasp. Absolutely, control. I will give her a can of Raid, and she can just go to town. Just have a good time with it. Okay. <laughs> Look how fast I'm sewing these pieces together. Okay, so many scorpions. Donna says she deals with scorpions. Oh, you know, okay, so now that I think about it a little bit, um, we um, have a little place down in Lake Havasu, our, our race family does. Sure. And it's in the desert. And yeah, when we first go there, you kind of have to look for scorpions. Well, I remember going to Arizona for the first time and we stayed, uh, my, it was a long time ago when I was a kid and my family and I stayed on a dude ranch. And one of the first things that they warned you about was, you know, check your shoes in the morning. And I thought, oh, yeah. why in the world would I need to check my shoes? And they said, well, scorpions love to sleep in warm little places and sometimes it might be your shoes. I have, I have never not checked my, if I have a pair of sneakers, anything. Like even now? Even now. Oh yeah, I check every time. Every morning in Omaha, you uh, check for scorpions? Uh, I, you know, spiders. Spiders like those places too, Pam. Okay. I, I'm an equal opportunity. <laughs> we had a little terrifying. spider building a nest in the living room the other day and I just let her build it. Oh, God. I called her Charlotte, it was all good. Okay, so now our pieces are sewn together. All right, so now we're going to um, press them in one direction. Hey, we have irons and fusible and pins, which I'm gonna use here in a minute, yeah. um, all on our website. Yeah, I discovered that the pins are just 
so, so, so helpful when you're, you know, piecing those, like the long straight seams that made that piece that I showed uh, at the beginning of the show. Oh yes. That made life so much easier. Look at how pretty this. Oh, that's so gorgeous. Grunge. Yeah, that grunge is gorgeous. <laughs> I had to go get some magenta grunge yesterday. No, I think I have some. I think I have your have same matching grunge. grunge now. <laughs> okay, now here's the thing. I, okay, this is where Eric and I um, disagree. Mm. She says you should sew it, okay, fine, we'll just do it this way. <laughs> you should pin it so that the smiley of the curve is on top and the frowny is on the bottom. Oh. And the reason you do that is so that you can keep track of how your pieces are coming together. And boy, howdy, oh. you're gonna wanna pin. So watch this as I'm pinning, okay? Well, and I learned, okay, here's another fun thing I learned, and this was from one of our go-getters that has a TikTok account and teaches, you know, I'm learning so many new things every day, that, the, that if, as long as you point your pins up, I was pinning the opposite direction. Oh, like this? Yeah, like, yeah, rather than yeah. Up, r rather than the way that you're doing it, which allows the needle of your sewing machine to just kind of go over it and not get yeah. caught in anything. Yeah, and you want to pin at all the notches, quilters. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, Ooh. so quilters ask me, hey, does that AccuQuilt system improve my quilting? Okay, I'm going to tell you our dies give you accurate cuts so there is less bulk and extra fabric in your block. And all of our geometric shapes have that quarter inch seam allowance built in. So if you're sewing a true quarter inch, then your block is gonna come together perfectly. Yes. Okay, now this is the, really, truly, it takes me longer to pin than it does to even sew the block together, but it's okay. Well, okay. I've got some fun questions while we're pinning. Okay, good. While I'm pinning, tell me. Why do you iron on one side on certain dies and open press on others? <laughs> I get that question almost every week. Um, this one is because the pattern tells you to do it, and I'm gonna tell you why in just a second. Hold on, I got a pin. Um, where's the block? Okay. See how I press this open? Then as I sew it, it's going to feed with my dog feeds. Yeah. And it's going to come through the sewing machine and it's going to come through beautifully. I tried a test block when we were testing this die and I tried to press my seams open. But what happens is on this block, and it will tell you on the pattern to press it to one direction. If I pressed it open, sometimes it would catch it and sometimes it wouldn't. And then I have these funny little bulks right, right here on the edge. So if you press it to one side, like I did here, then as I bring it through the sewing machine, the top is going to have all of the piece, hmm. and the bottom is going to feed through beautifully because it is that solid arc. But that is a great question. That is a great question. And I love those flowers head pins. They make things so easier. Yes. <laughs> so much easier, excuse me. Um, oh. If I want something that looks like pieces of sunflowers, would I, would it, might it be easier to use the Dresden die rather than the grandmother's fan? Um, it would be, but Emily, did you make a sunflower using the grandmother's fan? Actually, I was um, going to make one using the courtyard. Oh, there, that's a great idea. the courtyard would be a really, really fun one. Yeah, because it looks like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's very sunflower-esque. Okay. All of you are stressed about this. Don't be stressed. It will work, <laughs> right? Trust the process, as they say. <laughs> Trust the process. I promise it will work. <laughs> now, here is the big thing. Take your time, my goodness. Mm -hmm. All right, and make sure you have a good quarter inch seam. So I'm gonna backstitch here, okay? And before I take my pin out, I'm gonna make sure my needle is down. All right, Emily, do we have other questions or do we have other th creepy crawly things? Well, I'm so impressed by Donna who says nothing creeps me out. Oh, she, she had, came with Joe. Seriously, Joe said that. 
She had snakes, tarantulas, veiled chameleons, and bearded dragons. I mean, you're you're too cool. Too yeah, cool for that's school. cool. That's amazing. Um, oh, Trish says there's two snakes in my backyard. Now my sister is freaking out, and I can't do anything until Sunday. <laughs> oh, go. poor Trish is being enlisted to for snake, I was snake gonna, retrieval. I was going to say she's in charge of getting the snakes out. I guess. Okay. Look at how this is working, quilters. Wow. And you want to make sure you follow the arc because if you don't, your block will be flat. Ask me how I know. <laughs> I had some flat blocks when I was first making these. This is a really, before you cut your good grunge, you make a test block, quilters. So okay. true. Yeah, I can't wait to try the courtyard. I think that's going to be so much fun. Yeah. That'd We're gonna be have fun for yep. You. I, I uh, some little gentle Y seams for you there. Exactly. Give you a little challenge. Yeah, I'm excited to learn. I'm gonna quilters. I'm making Pam teach me. <laughs> yeah, we have a class. We have a class coming up. We're having a, a crash tutorial. Okay. <laughs> All right. So look, look at how fun this is. Oh. It, look, it has the arch. Now, it's gonna naturally want to be pressed to one direction. Um, and which has nothing to do with the musical group. Okay, <laughs> hold on here. So I'm going to press it this way. This is a really good time to take your big iron or our little steam fast iron and give that a good press. Sure. Look at how that came together. That's because we followed the notches. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, quilters, don't forget the Grandmother's Fan Dye Bundles are available for you, including the Go Fan Favorite. And this one has the courtyard in it, which is um, that fun, fun block quilt behind Emily. And it also has Cleopatra's Fan. There we go. Cleopatra's, yeah. Be sure to place your orders while the dye is in stock and ready to ship. Now, it's worth noting that all of the Go Grandmother's Fan Dye Bundles will receive free shipping to the contiguous U.S. since they're over $100. No code is needed for the $100 free shipping threshold. And remember, you're going to receive double reward points when you place your orders today. You can use these points towards future AccuQuilt purchases. Today I'm giving away a Grandmother's Fan Dye. Be sure to register for future events on our AccuQuilt event page for the chance to win. Okay, so now we've added the, oh, I did it backwards, Brock, did I? Oh, no, I think I did. Kind of if I did. Listen, sometimes they do it backwards. Our, our graphics team, our marketing team has this amazing graphics team, Brock and Anna do graphics, sometimes Chelsea helps us, and then I go off script and then it's just a mess. Okay, so now we've added the inner arc. Now we're going to add the outer arc. And this is actually how the pattern tells you to do it. So we will do it that same way. And we're going to do it the way that Erica says. Okay, we're going to have the smiley face. And then the there. Oh. The smiley face <laughs> on top. And I'm going to pin it this way. The frowny face on the bottom. Okay. It's just so many pins. Okay, and basically what I want to do is the same thing, is I'm going to pin this together, and I'm going to put the um, solid on the bottom. Okay, so I always have to think about this. There we go. So I don't want to just, I know while you're No, you're, you're good. I can up, pin but I want to make sure. <laughs> it's, it's I can't figure out which way I'm supposed to sew it and talk. That always sets me off. Go ahead. Um, so by when you say a, a true quarter of an inch, can you kind of elaborate what that means a little bit for you Carolyn? Bet. If I were to take my ruler, oh gosh, shall I try it? Yeah, I shall because we can. Okay, if I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to come right here to the edge of my fabric, I'm going to say that that seam is right along that quarter inch. What happens, quilters, is if you don't have a quarter of an inch, you have a tendency to do like a three-eighths of an inch or something. And then what happens is it gets too, it doesn't fit. Okay, so right along there, boy, I did a dang good job right there. 
Okay, just quarter of an inch. Most machines have a quarter inch foot. Yeah. Right? So just follow the quarter inch foot. They sure do, okay. yep. All right, while I'm pinning our people's what creepy crawly things. So many creepy crawlies. Oh, so many, I'm sure. And I, I feel so bad. People have gotten bitten by snakes. That's, okay, I that's don't need to hear about that. A lot of why <laughs> they're why they're scared of them because they 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 got lashed at. Oh my goodness. Um, let's see. Next week oh. we'll talk about food. Oh, Paula, this is scary. So my her dog alerted my husband of a coiled copper head on their walk this morning and saved his life. Oh, that dog gets wow. extra treats. That dog gets Where do you live that you have copperheads in your walk? Seriously. I have oh bunnies goodness. on the way to the gym in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> you all need to move to Nebraska. You have copperheads on your morning walk, I tell you. You are in, living in the wrong state. Hey, we're having the College World Series here in Omaha, Nebraska. If you're watching from the College World Series because you're here, welcome to Omaha. Yes, hope you're enjoying. I'm so excited to go. Okay. Oh, did you go with your dad? I'm going tonight. Tonight will be a great game. You're going to go watch Ole Miss play. Yep. I think it's going to be really fun. And my dad, neither of us have like any skin in the game as far as, you know. Yeah, I don't either. Which team. So we're just totally going for fun. That will be fun. Okay. So now I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to stitch on this side. But you want to make sure you catch the edge here so that it lines up. I'm going to sew on this side so I can make sure that my... Um, seams are getting sewn down mm -hmm. and if you if it gets all bunched up just lift up your presser foot okay all right here we go okay quilters literally I don't know how long we've been doing this 40 minutes 45 minutes in 45 minutes at home I sewed like six blocks together it's just fun to chat with you all okay don't forget if you have questions right yeah, I love, okay, I have an interesting question from Roxy, too. Hi, Roxy. Do the curves need to be clipped to lay flat, or no. can a clapper be used? Um, you can use a clapper, but clips, no, you don't have to clip the curves. That's the cool thing, because we have notches, mm -hmm. and we have notches on both pieces of fabric. Makes life so easy. Yeah. No, clipping curves is a nightmare. Okay, Ooh. here we go. Let's Every see. year at this time, Emily, I always think I should make a baseball-themed quilt for the College World Series. And then, and then it's June, and I don't. I know, it's hard. It sneaks up on you every year. That and Berkshire Hathaway, between the two of those. Yeah, it's, it gets a little, you blink it gets and a you little busy it. here. And this is, we have big birthdays coming up, like Taylor's birthday is Tuesday, and then mine's next weekend, and mm -hmm. Oakley's is the 11th, and... Yes. So we Ooh. have many birthdays coming up. I okay, so see what I'm doing, quilters. Before I take out that pin, I'm making sure the back and the um, top fabrics are lining up. Make sure my needle is down. Yes. And it's just going together so easily. Yeah, I That's like that. the cool thing. It's like little section it's a gentle by little curve, section. Gentle curve. Yeah. Gentle curve. Piece by piece. And okay, what are people step. scared of? <laughs> Actually, uh, this is a fun question, and I, I okay. love these. I love answering these. Okay. So she says, Emily, I have the eight and nine inch cubes with both angles and corners. So yes. she's all set there. What smaller size would you or Pam recommend? I oh, Emily, next? what would you recommend? So, okay, so I'm going to say either the four or the six because I found out that the six works with the nine. Right. If you do the, is it the nine patch, I believe? Or is it yes. the, still the four patch? Yeah. Yep. So, oh gosh, that's a hard one. Cause yeah, between the four and the six, like I personally just bought the five inch cube just cause the patterns that, that the five inch cube had in particular were just well, like. Well, it's because last week we made the sprocket we made quilt the, and it, 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 it was too cute not to. It was actually too cute for me not to order the yeah. cube. So yeah, I, I did. I bit the bullet. I did it. <laughs> Yeah. But I was, but I I'm mean, so truly, excited. after the show, she was like, okay, this is just too cute. It, yeah. Hey, look. Oh. Perfect. I love all of this. Hey, don't forget all of our videos live on our Facebook page and our YouTube page mm -hmm. and at AccuQuilt.com. So if you want to come back and um, see how we did all of this, you can, Okay. Emily, while I'm ironing here, will you talk about our blog? Absolutely. So we have the best blog, y'all. 
Um, do. Our go-getters as well as our AccuQuilt staff here um, write a bunch of really fun exclusive patterns um, that can only be found at blog.accuquilt.com. Yes. Um, so if you want some more inspiration, you know, tips and tricks and new ways to use these fantastic dies that we're coming out with, yep. check out that blog. Yep. Okay, look how pretty my little grunge block is. Okay. Ooh. Now, I'm gonna show you this cool thing. Ooh, I'm gonna move this so I don't get burned. Oh yes, that, well, that little iron gets real hot. I know, and I just dropped one of them on the ground. That's why I love it so much though. It can just, oh man, that those seams. Combine the stiletto and the iron, and there it's you go. like a match made in heaven. And you'll be okay. All right, this is a fun and versatile die. Not only can you change the colorway like we did today and do the green serpentine look mm -hmm. and the layout pattern, but you can also change the blocks themselves. Now, when we launched this die on a Tuesday show, I showed you how uh, it was all about scrap busting. And one of the techniques I showed you was how to make a crumb quilt block. That was so fun. Basically what I did was I took all my scraps and I sewed it into big pieces, into big chunks. And then I added white to the edge of some of it. So when you sew it all together, it just gives it this funky look. It looks all choppy, right? Cool, yeah. Okay, are we good? Okay. Thank you. Ah. Okay, now, I'm so excited. Oh, here, let's talk about Erica's real quick. This is Erica, I see, does it not look like a snail? I guess the snail is this way, right? I guess it's a know. kitty cat. It is a kitty cat. And Erica took our calico fabric and you made this super cute kitty cat. This is a three inch strip. Finish this to three inches, so three and a half inch strip by nine, three and a half by nine. And then, Emily, look at this. She used her six inch cube oh, to make flying geese. So this is shape number four and this is shape number five, and then this is the rectangle to make these cute kitty cat shapes. And then if you wanted to, I've seen on Pinterest and other places on the internet where you could cut out a tail and just applique it. Oh my you know? gosh. Isn't that cute? Again, no patterns, just inspiration. Now, this, is, this was so exciting. Okay, when I was thinking about this show, I thought, oh, I gotta show people some different things. So I'm talking all about summer, okay? So this was the first kind of test block that I made. And isn't that cute? It kind of looks like oh a, little gosh, watermelon, a little watermelon. Right? Oh, cute. But before, I asked some of the staff, I said, what do you think? And they all said, oh, Pam, it needs seeds. And I was like, oh, okay, fine. <laughs> so what I did was I found some fabric that had watermelon seeds. Now, somebody asked about um, like doing um, uh, directional fabric, mm -hmm. okay? This would be considered directional, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to cut just on this one section of B, all right? And I use my strip die to cut this is a five inch strip and a one inch strip finished and then a two inch strip. All right, because I don't know, I felt like there was a lot of white in the watermelon, right? And I pressed my seams open. Oh, so they're nice and flat. Well, it was until I put it in the car, apparently. Okay, so here, hold on, I gotta press it open. Okay, now quilters, this is super important. You can only cut six layers. Now I have two layers, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some painter's tape, which thank you Brock for grabbing that for me. And I'm gonna line it up here. And I'm gonna eyeball it, okay? <laughs> the answer, the question is how much green do I want? I want about that much green, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my painter's tape here because I'm only gonna be able to go back and forth three times, right. and I wanna make sure that when I sew them together that this is all the same. I know, nice. I did a little 
process here, okay? So I'm gonna line up the green here. I'm gonna go back and forth. One, two, three. And I'm gonna use a smaller mat because I only wanna cut those shapes. Here's important. Oh yeah, boy, yeah. that. Ooh. Get your mat over there on that, okay? So here's my six layers. We're gonna use our Go Big. This die fits through our Go or our Go Big fabric cutter. $70 off our Go Big today though. Yeah, so it's the perfect time to upgrade. Right? Because why not? Why not? It's too hot to cut. It is too. <laughs> no, did you all know that and you didn't tell me? They did. Okay, so see, this is why Brock is over here laughing his head off. Okay, so I did it upside down. Doggone it. Oh no, I That's okay, I'm gonna that. show you how to do it. This is live TV, you don't get this at home. This is why we usually test. Okay, now I'm gonna find the wide one in the middle. Doggone it. Okay, but I'm gonna do the same thing. I tell ya, quilters, quilters. And they're all having a good time with that today here in the Dream Studio. Okay, so now let's do three. One, oh. two. You know what? Let's do it the easy way. Here we go. It's been a hot minute since I made watermelons. Okay, so I'm gonna come right here. Find the fat end, right? Gosh dang it, that makes me cranky. Okay, go back and forth. <laughs> Three times. Ooh, and we have a ton of folks asking about the quilt behind you. That is the Go Gingham Heart Throw yes, Quilt Yes, please ask about the for, quilt for behind us asking. as I cut my watermelon pieces wrong. They okay. were asking about that. So now, I, now double check, right? It's on the wide end, not the skinny end. Seriously. Oh, the joys of live television. I tell ya, you don't get this at home. <laughs> All right, now I have the correct pieces. Okay, so now what I can do is sew them together and you would need six, right? Mm -hmm. And then you would have a watermelon block. Oh, that's adorable. So the same applies if you wanted to make an orange. So here's an orange slice. Stop. And oranges are, I was trying to figure out if oranges are usually right, a half a slice. Right. I wasn't sure if I should do white in the middle or orange in the middle. Oh my God. Right, but you could totally do that. Yeah. And you could use yellow and make lemon slices. I was literally just thinking lemons would be the yeah. cutest thing in the whole wide world. So make sure when you do it, you cut on the fat end, doggone it. That's all right. Okay, and then you can sew quilt. your blocks Let's together. Let's just make a whole, a whole quilt just fruits. That would be you so You could, because it's summertime. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, every day. Be sure and share your finished projects with us on all of our social media platforms. We would love to see them. Absolutely. Join me and Erica for a special show. Next week, we have three shows on Thursday, June 30th at 12 noon Central Time for a special look on our block on board dies. Um, our Bob Dyes, we will be sharing fun Bob Dye tips and tricks, plus giving you a sneak peek of July's Dye to Try. Register in the link below for the chance to win prizes. So we're going to talk about Bob Dyes, and we're going to show you the July, to, uh, July Dye to Try. Don't forget our Grandmother Fan Dye Bundles are available, including the Go Grandmother's Fan Block Bundle. Be sure to place your orders while the dye is still in stock and ready to ship. And don't forget, all of our bundles will ship free, to, of our grandmother's fan dye bundles will ship free to the contiguous US since they're over $100. No code needed for the $100 free shipping threshold. Remember, you're gonna receive double reward points when you place your orders today. You can use those points towards future AccuQuilt purchases. All right, Emily, let's announce our winner for today of the Grandmother's oh. Fan Dye. Oh boy, oh boy, let's do it. All righty, the winner of the dye today, drum roll please. Jeanette V of Riddle, Oregon. Congratulations, Jeanette. Make some really fun vlogs and send them to us. We'd love to see them. 
All right, quilters, be sure to join us for next week's AccuQuilt Live as we use the Go Chimney Sweep die to create a patriotic throw quilt just in time for summer festivities. Register for a chance to win prizes. And don't forget, I will be at the Omaha Quilt Show on Friday from 11 to noon Central Time. Stop by the quilter, Celtic Quilter booth to say hello. All right, off-site we have Morgan and Lauren who are helping us with our chat today in the Dream Studio is Brock and Joe and Justin and of course the amazing Emily. I'm Pam Heller reminding you at AccuQuilt we help you cut time so you can quilt more. We'll see you later.